In this video, I'm going to give you seven quick tips that you can use today in order to use your phone less. And the idea is so that this will actually help you improve your mental health. First, we're going to do is we're going to put our phone into gray scale. In other words, we're going to remove the color. So the first thing you want to do is go under settings, click on that. We're going to scroll down to accessibility. And after that, display and text size. We're going to scroll down to where it says color filters. And finally, we're going to switch it on. And this is what your phone looks like in black and white. And the reason you do this is because simply your phone looks less interesting to look at. So you're going to be less tempted to look at TikTok and Facebook or whatever on your phone because it's just not as exciting to use. All right, next one, we are going to put our phone into airplane mode. And the reason we do this is so that we can temporarily be inaccessible from other people with our phones. And so this could be a time where you want to go for a walk, get your thoughts together, clear your head. And this is a great way to disconnect from the world. And at any time you can quickly go back to your phone and turn it on. Next one, number three, I highly recommend to declutter your phone. So as you can see on my phone that I have very few apps that are accessible. I have the bottom four that I use the most and then the other group categories at the top. But I like to actually declutter. The way that I do this is I still have a lot of apps, but I have this other file. And in the other file, I have maybe 60 or 70 apps that I use once in a while. But the great thing about this is it's not visual. So I don't go to them when I'm bored. I don't scroll through the Starbucks app or go into Google Maps and scroll around or look at plane, tic plane tickets on the American Airlines app or United. Instead, I just kind of go to these when I actually need to use them. All right, number four, don't be afraid to actually delete your apps. So if you have an app that you don't use very often, I highly recommend to delete it. So for example, I go, you know what? I really don't use my Starbucks app anymore. I don't really go to Starbucks. I don't drink much coffee or tea. I'm going to click on it. And guess what? I am going to remove the app. Oh my gosh, it is gone forever. And what that does is again, it just shows that I don't need it, that I don't want things sitting unnecessarily on my phone, being a distraction to me, or even just taking up data storage and space. And so now I'm going to go back into my settings and I'm going to scroll down to screen time. And so today I used it about two hours, 13 minutes. This is down 47% from last week. That's really great. And you can actually click on the individual and you can actually go further and see what apps you're using and how much you're using them. And this is another way to kind of keep tabs on what you're doing during the week and try to limit how much you use your phone. Because again, the research shows that the more you use your phone, and I talked about this in my previous video, the more it can actually distract you, make you feel unsettled and actually impact your mental health. The last one I want to show you is the notes section that I have here. In the notes section, I like to use this during the day when I have either a positive thought or something I want to write down that I need to buy. And I discursively or randomly just put down notes. So one example is I need to buy milk, right? So this, instead of being on my mind all day and worrying about it, now it's on my phone. I know I can look at this later, go through my list and not forget it when I'm at the supermarket. On something positive, I'm going to put like today's sunset was awesome. And so this is where I like to put down a positive thought that I have. I might not have my notebook around. We talked about that in a previous video or a pen and paper. And so I just put random thoughts down throughout the day. And it's nice because then I can go back at night, categorize what's there. And instead of letting these thoughts subconsciously weigh on me throughout the day and then forget something and you know try to spend time of remembering what I forgot, everything's there on my phone and it's accessible. And again, I try to keep things positive and practical on my phone. So hope you enjoyed that. That was seven tips that you can use today in order to use your phone less or use your phone in a smarter way so that it actually supports your mental health. Thanks so much.